There was a recent article in the LA Times regarding uh, lingering concerns over breast implants and it really made me want to address some of these issues so that a lot of women don't go to sleep at night worried that their implants are ticking time bombs. Breast implants are the most studied medical device in the history of medicine. They've been around since the 1960s but they underwent an incredible amount of scrutiny since 1992 over concerns that women with breast implants were at an increased risk for a number of diseases. Well, we've been studying this for over 18 years now, and it doesn't seem that breast implants, particularly silicone gel breast implants, put women at any increased risk for autoimmune disease, uh, lupus, scleroderma, chronic fatigue, it does not seem to statistically be correlated. A recent report that there may be a slight increased chance of an incredibly rare form of lymphoma has got women once again worried if these devices are going to give them lymphoma or cancer. Well, one statistic that isn't in doubt, but no one is going to use to market implants, is that it seems that women with breast implants have a slightly decreased incidence of breast cancer. Now that's not ever going to be used to encourage women to get breast implants, but that fact is, is suddenly overshadowed by the fact that maybe one out of 100,000 or 200,000 or 300,000 women might, and I emphasize might, uh, be at risk for the development of, the, of this lymphoma. And we don't even know for sure if that's really the case. So uh, because of these lingering concerns, you have women considering alternative forms of breast augmentation. You have them considering uh, alternative implants. There was an implant that came out a few years ago, the ideal implant. It was a saline implant with a lot of baffles in it, uh, kind of like a waterbed. Uh, that kind of came and went. I haven't heard anything more about that uh, in the last few years. You get people now marketing uh, alternatives to augmentation such as uh, stem cell breast augmentation or fat grafting breast augmentation which is a procedure that has its own significant limitations. What I encourage all my patients to do is to realize that this operation, breast augmentation, with an implant, it's not a once-in-a-lifetime operation. The implants have a finite shelf life. They will eventually wear out, so for sure, if you live long enough, you'll likely need at least one more operation. These are discussions that patients need to have with their surgeons. They need to understand the relative risks risks of hardening of the breast and all that, and then they need to decide if the risk merits the operation. And that answer is going to vary from patient to patient. There's no one answer. But I think it's disingenuous for the media to promote uh, articles where they rely on the fear factor to get women to worry about breast implants, where for the majority of, of women, they're going to have a very satisfactory experience and are, will be glad that they had the operation done. I mean, it's ironic to me that in a country that allows a device to be freely sold every day, and that doesn't get all these articles, you know, uh, ranting about it every day, and we know it's a device that causes cancer, we know it's a device that kills thousands of people a year, and that device is cigarettes, but that does, you know, we all know about that, and that's not news. You know, breast implants suddenly are news, and that's unfortunate.